Seeing an episode of a talent competition show without a magician in sight is practically impossible. They're always there to make us doubt the nature of our reality with death-defying acts, mind-reading games, and innovative card tricks. Judges on America's Got Talent and Britain's Got Talent have seen hundreds of them over the years, and it became really hard to blow their minds. Although, some people still know how to cast a spell on them and convince them that the magic is real. Let's take a look at 10 magicians that blew the judges away. If you want to see more epic moments from your favorite shows, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 10. James Moore James Moore didn't make it far into the competition, but each of his performances made a lasting impression on the audience. First time he appeared on the stage of Britain's Got Talent, this danger artist shocked the world with an act where he was seen impaling himself on a blade. He decided to top this trick with his semi-final performance after the judge Simon Cowell challenged him to do something even more dangerous next time. Moore gave him a run for his money with a performance that put everyone on the edge of their seats. During his last appearance on the show, a few helpers locked up Moore inside a wooden construction and lit several spears on fire a few feet above his body. They used white cloth to hide him from the audience, but we could still see his shadow fighting for a safe escape. After a few seconds, it was already too late, because one of the helpers released the spears, making it seem like they burnt Moore alive. That obviously didn't happen because the escape artist was nowhere to be found after they moved the cloth. A few seconds later, he appeared behind the judges alive and well. Four big fat yeses, congratulations. Normally a magician would say, Alicia, pick a card, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Number 9. Issy Simpson Dozens of magicians appeared on the stage of Britain's Got Talent, but none of them were as cute as Issy Simpson. The eight-year-old was dubbed the real-life Hermione Granger after charming the audience with her magical abilities. The bossy girl was brimming with confidence as she approached the judges so she could do the trick that involved the box of books. Each of the judges was presented with one novel. Apart from Simon Cowell, Simpson entrusted him with the task of moving her box from the table, but he wasn't even able to lift it up. David Williams tried giving him a hand, but the box still didn't move an inch. Annoyed by their incompetence, the tiny magician removed a stack of cards from the box and lifted it with ease. She proceeded by asking Simon to pick a card, a number, and any of the three books. After that, Alicia Dixon picked a random word from the page Simon had already chosen. In one final twist, Issy revealed the word that had been hidden on the blackboard the whole time and astonished everyone by unveiling the t-shirt with a picture of Cowell holding the card he picked. Needless to say, she got four yes votes and finished in second place at the end of the season. What are the last four numbers on Simon's credit card? Two, four, five, six. Step forward and look what she wrote. Two, four, five, six. Number 8. The Clairvoyants The Clairvoyants are probably the most popular mentalist duo to ever appear on a talent show, and it all started with their amazing America's Got Talent audition. During their guessing game, Tommy was in charge of asking the judges and audience members to hand him an object they carry. His partner Emil was blindfolded the whole time, but it didn't stop her from correctly guessing and describing each item. She named the shade and number of Heidi Klum's lipstick without hesitation, and went on to correctly deduce information about a phone from an audience member and the expiration date of the eye drops belonging to Howie Mandel. The couple's mind-reading game wowed the judges, and they got four yes votes right away. Each performance they gave after that was flawless, and the clairvoyants were close to winning the 11th season of the show, but lost to Grace Vanderwall. May finally take their own back. Number 7. Josephine Lee 
Josephine Lee is known for performing some of the most visually stunning magic tricks fans of Britain's Got Talent have ever seen. Lee decided to participate because she felt it would be amazing to see a female magician on the show, and her act in the semifinals reflected her vision. She entered the stage declaring the history of women in magic is going to be rewritten that night. Her performance focused on the fact that women are always treated horribly for doing magic. The act of trickery she pulled that night included several disappearing acts and a pair of legs that started moving with a flick of her magic wand. Amanda and David were impressed by her magical story, but her pro-feminist message started irritating Simon Cowell. He came under fire after making a crude remark about her legs that many viewers considered sexist. You'd much rather have one of those bank of Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> Number 6. Jamie Raven Jamie Raven was very close to winning Britain's Got Talent in 2015, and it all started with a card trick that made Simon Cowell believe in magic. Somebody once said to me, who I really respect, that there are a lot of people who do tricks, and there are a few people who actually can do magic, and I think we just saw that. By that point in time, the judges were pretty much sick of seeing card tricks, but Raven somehow managed to impress them. His sleeves were rolled up as he transformed a few 50-pound notes into a specially created BGT currency that contains caricatures of all four judges. In the second part of his act, the trickster asked Williams, Dixon, and Holden, and by combining their individual choices, the Nine of Clubs was elected. He proceeded by telling Cowell he can stick with that card or overrule his fellow judges. And Mr. Nasty changed the card to the Seven of Hearts. At the end of the trick, Raven revealed a special deck of cards with a stick figure image printed on them. And as he fanned through the deck, the audience were gobsmacked after seeing the figure drew the Seven of Hearts from its hat. It later turned out his special deck was actually a standard shop bot trick, but it didn't change the way the judges felt about Raven, since they kept voting yes. I now believe. <laughs> Come on. Who are you thinking of? David Becker. We have Mr. Number 5. Richard Jones Richard Jones performed several mind-blowing tricks that helped him secure a victory on the 10th season of Britain's Got Talent. The most talked about was his semi-final performance that left viewers scratching their heads once again. After walking onto the stage, he presented Simon Cowell with a gift to look after and asked Alicia Dixon to remember the first word on the random page she picked from Amanda Holden's book. He proceeded to reveal a message in the bottle hidden inside Simon's gift. Well, it wasn't exactly a message, since the bottle actually contained page 176 from the book No Holding Back that Alicia Dixon picked at the beginning. It turned out the page was now missing from Amanda's autobiography, and when Jones brought the lighter close to the page, the word Dixon read was burnt into the paper. Jones' act wasn't talked about only because he blew the judges away. Some viewers criticized him for stealing the trick from America's Got Talent contestant Collins K, but that didn't hurt his chances one bit. Jones defended himself by saying magic is all about evolving the ideas that might have been done before. And the public probably found his explanation pretty convincing, since he came out victorious at the end of the season. Richard Jones! Number 4. Piff the Magic Dragon Several talent show contestants try mixing magic and comedy during their act, but Piff the Magic Dragon outdone them all. When he showed up on America's Got Talent for the first time, people didn't know what to expect from the quirky guy dressed in a dragon costume, but Piff quickly proved them he's not a joke. During his audition, he invited Heidi Klum to join him, sealed a card in an envelope, and asked her to pick a random card from a deck. After opening the envelope, he did something most magicians on these shows never do. Make a mistake. The card inside the envelope wasn't the one Klum picked, so he took hers and bent it into different arrangements until it transformed into the same card that was inside the envelope. Piff got the golden buzzer from the guest judge Neil Patrick Harris the next time he appeared on the show and became a fan favorite by the end of the season. He made the top 10 and the judges seemed over the moon every time he graced them with his presence. 
He proved them laughter can be the strongest form of magic, and that's why they wanted him to stick around until the very end. And I genuinely never, ever thought a magic act would move me like that. I know. That's just crazy. Number three, Mark Spellman. Illusionists are there to entertain, not to move people to tears, but Mark Spellman somehow managed to do both. He proved to us magic tricks can be emotional by making his family a crucial part of his heart-wrenching performance that got the golden buzzer from Ant and Deck. At the very beginning, it didn't look like we were going to see anything we haven't seen before. He asked the judges to pick a card, a colored crayon, a word from his wife's favorite book, and a combination of colors on a Rubik's Cube. Then came a part that Spellman described as real magic. This to me is real magic. He played a video telling the story of his wife's battle with cancer during pregnancy and his baby girl undergoing IVF after being born. His daughter was shown playing with a couple of items that matched the choices made by the judges and at the very end, she said the word Simon Cowell pick from the book. He wowed everyone in the studio and the presenters rushed to the judge's desk to send Spellman directly to the next round. Impressing Simon Cowell is mission impossible, but turns out Darcy Oak is the Ethan Hunt of magicians who competed on Britain's Got Talent. The notorious judge called him without question the best magician they've ever seen after Oak enchanted them with his audition. The illusionist from Winnipeg stunned the judges and the audience who rose to their feet to give him a standing ovation after seeing his amazing trick, which included doves appearing seemingly out of nowhere. Oak started the trick by setting a feather on fire, and after it transformed into a living bird, he duplicated it. He then pulled out a tissue and voila, another bird appeared out of nowhere. He produced another dove by lighting another feather and transformed it into an egg. A smaller bird hatched from it, but Oak figured all these birds need a home. He lit another feather, producing a cage, and put the birds inside. In one final twist, the trickster covered the cage with a cloth, and when he pulled it off, a woman was hiding underneath. His disappearing acts were so popular that he made it to the finals and took the fifth place. All of you judges look much better. One, two, in the flesh. <laughs> yup, even you, Howard. <gasps> Number one, Matt Franco. The first time Matt Franco appeared on America's Got Talent, he used magic as a storytelling technique. He told the judges everything about his career and aspirations to appear on the show while pulling cards out that perfectly fit his story. The judges immediately sent him to the next round of the competition, and Franco proved them he always had an ace up his sleeve. The semifinals were one of his shiniest moments because he proved everyone that he can do magic without cards. They were only involved for one brief moment since he asked Mel B to pick three. He borrowed Mel's phone to take a picture while she held the cards and then dropped it into a cup of water. She was too shocked to give him a no right away. But Franco tried to fix things by drying her phone inside a black bag. That didn't really make things better as the bag started smoking after being exposed to so much heat. When he tried returning the phone, it was nowhere to be found. And after Heidi Klum tried calling her, it started ringing inside one of the seat cushions in the audience. When Franco cut the cushion and retrieved the phone, the magician showed everyone it contained the photo of Mel he took early on. He made it to the finals thanks to this performance and eventually won the competition. Matt Franco! Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. And don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on the screen.